Hi, in this video we can take a look at the Veilbond CX Far Gen 40 tripod. So it is, it weight, it is a lightweight tripod, uh, weight at around 1.1 kilograms. Um, when it is open, it can go up to 144 centimeter height, and uh, when it is closed, it can uh, the height is uh, 54 centimeter. So that's it. There. It comes with a carrying bag. So here's the bag. So it's, um, the back is quite uh, of good quality, so you can handy to carry around. So here it is a close up of the tripods. So this is a quick release, the handlebar, and the tripod itself, the legs. As you can see. Now with the handle, um, if when, um, when we are locking it in, we have to twist it to lock the top in place and it's quite light to open or close the, this lock you can also um, there's a piece here that you can close or open this is a handle stone um, small knob you can just twist to um, release this side quickly so this piece here is a little bit hard to turn so to push it up or down, it can be a little bit hard. With a more expensive one, this one is um, is really light, so we can use this one to lock it in. Then there's also an adjustment where you can open this, and you can twist it around to lock it in. All you have to do is just turn this piece, and this is locked. You can't turn it anymore. So this is quite also quite light. So make all this piece here are made of um, plastic, so it's quite a hard plastic, but um, you can turn it to open and close quite easily. Then here's a knob that you can turn to um, move this piece up and down. So once you turn this, you have to use this piece here, and this handlebar handle is used to push this one up and down. So I'll just move it here so you can see. Now this middle piece here are made of um, aluminium. Um, feel quite um, soft but it's hard. Now in here are the legs. It's the aluminium legs. It looks quite of good quality, it's quite hard. And here is a um, clip where you lock in the legs. So the clip is quite hard to open. You need to use a bit of pressure to open and close. But once it is uh, closed, it's it's very really locking and you can't really move it. If I try, even if I try to pull it out really hard, you can't. So this clip is really good. So I'm just going to pull it out. So you can see the look. So there's another one down here, so there are three legs that you can pull to so just make it longer. So I'm just going to use one leg for now. So you can extend it out by flipping it out, and this one opens up. Now this piece here is, um, this piece here is, I feel like plastic, but it's not, it's actually um, aluminium. This piece here are also aluminium. In the piece here, the round piece, this piece here is made of uh, plastic, but it's quite smooth to move it up and down. It's very easy and soft, so there's not too much troubles moving up and down. Now, the base of the legs are the rubbers, so it feels like it's quite a good piece of rubber, so it helps um, the tripod to stand steady on the ground. I'm just going to move the camera down so a little bit so you can see the tripods. So overall, I think this tripod is, is quite good. It's good for light cameras and it would be handy if you go traveling. It's quite a good tripod to go around with. So I probably cannot support a very heavy cameras, they are just lightweight cameras. 
I think it's good compared to a ten dollars um, tripod. This is actually quite good, and depending on where you are, the price range can be uh, around sixty to hundred dollars. Um, on average, here in Australia, I can get this piece of tripod for around seventy dollars to eighty dollars. But in some other places, it might be a little bit more expensive or a little bit more cheaper. So I hope um, you have uh, good details. Uh, of this tripod and if you're deciding to get one uh, at least you know what it looks like and what you expect uh, from the what you expect from the tripod thank you for watching this video